the cyst in the lateral ventricle which moves from place to place. What is that cyst? A cyst in the lateral ventricles moves from place to place. Cyst circle cyst that is common in India and also it is originally from the Brazil. That is the commonest majority of the literature is from the Brazil. So we are also having some cases of uh, neurocystic circle cysts. So for that surgery is the only thing which is effective, not the medicine which cannot penetrate it. So I will show you that uh, cyst. See that is the one, see when I tapped that already it is broken. So that is why that cyst what you are seeing inside all crumpled one. See here, see it is lying there. It is a quite uh, big uh, cyst. See how nicely it is so whitish in color. It is like hydratus cyst like this only. Very big one. Multiple actually this is. Mm, see. And when I am taking out the whole tube was blocked with the cyst wall. See this cyst, this is one another cyst. Mm, see you can see whole tube inside. And that was attached to that uh, our uh, cannula itself. I brought out cannula along with the cyst cavity. Uh, then I placed in the plate, see this so much cyst and so dirty color. The natural color is so dirty when it is inside so bright it is. That is one. Another one is I took a chance. See the cyst, which is fourth ventricle is here. This is the craniotomy of how I was doing it. And uh, always we have to do in a different way when we are going for posterior, so anteriorly. This is like a mini trefining like this. So that I can take out that bone and replace it back so that there is no depression. See this is the bone what we have taken nearly around 1 centimeter. So after refining this is the picture. See raising a dura. See tapping. See it was under pressure. Now I am entering inside the quadrat plexus what you are seeing is this is the foramen monroe that is the aqueduct. This is the one, this is the cyst wall which is projecting in the fourth ventricle. Just I am uh, fenestrating that it is not easy when I am going this I have taken a flexible uh, uh, forceps. To catch that itself I took nearly half an hour then subsequently I could uh, fenestrate the thing. See I am opening it still it is not coming after that I am rotating it is you see part of the cyst wall I could catch it uh, see that is the opening then subsequently I did third ventriclostomy also see when we are uh, inside the what is that after uh, perforating the floor we should not uh, increase the balloon size that causes rupture of the vessel. So we should be very careful when we are inflating in the space. And again visualizing the third ventriclostomy. See once you start visualizing blood vessels means you have ruptured the liquid's membrane. If you do not rupture it you will never see the blood vessels. Sometimes anatomy of the liquid membrane is different. Sometimes it will be perforated uh, liquid's membrane will be there. So that then so that is the end part. Following surgery, patient has developed ptosis. Okay, subsequently, has improved. Okay. Not all colloid cysts are easy to exercise. It gives a lot of problem when it is situated posteriorly. Sometimes you may get a fluid, sometimes the colloid material itself it is so solid. See the blood vessels how it protrudes into the cannula itself. That is the last part of the cyst which has taken out. This is also um, uh, pineal tumor, posterior one third of the tumor. Again, selecting the space is very, very important. You have to go more anteriorly. When you are experienced, then you can negotiate anteriorly also and you can do third ventriclostomy. 
but in the initial period if you start doing it we will end up with the problems definite that is that is the tumor what you are seeing is see very vascular tumor that see coagulating on the surface with the bipolar now a lot of bipolar which has come is nice but uh, negotiating inside is impossible see that is the aqueduct it is sitting on the aqueduct more the if the lesion is in the lower part of the third ventricular and posterior easy to take a biopsy if it is in the upper part negotiation of the area is very difficult we may not be able to do any biopsy and uh, literature wise is there using laser and all these things if that works and with a flexible uh, endoscope those can be tried see i am using this very good biopsy forceps it is see the blood vessels and all so always try to irrigate that area so if there is any bleeding and all not to be panic better it is like a hydrotherapy like thing with little flushing that area that with that pressure itself the bleeding from the capillaries it will stop not to try to coagulate that area so that that will create more problems thank you